Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Andrew Brankley and welcome to this video, Does Stable 2007 Work? A Meta-Analysis. This is a five minute version of our article published in the journal Sexual Abuse. You can find a link to the article in the description section of this video. I'd like to acknowledge the co-authors of the paper and note for potential conflicts of interest that we have all previously published work on Stable 2007 and are part of the development team. Thank you to these wonderful researchers who were kind enough to share their stable data and answer questions about their studies. If you learned something from this video, it is thanks to them. Our meta-analysis had three hypotheses that we will answer in this video. Because time is of the essence, I have further broken down seven important take-home points that will be covered. This way you can be sure you are paying attention to key results. Just look for the white rabbit. There is! Where? There! What, behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit. You silly sod! What? You got us all worked up! Well, that's no ordinary rabbit. Oh. That's the most foul, cruel, and bad-tempered rodent you ever set eyes on. You tit! I saw my arm and I was so scared. Look. Don't worry. Unlike the rabbit those brave knights faced, our white rabbit is quite meek. He has a thought bubble telling you what point we are covering. Look for him in the top corner of the screen. We began our meta-analysis by searching the usual sources of information. This provided us with 21 studies on Stable 2007's predictive validity, which were based on 12 unique or different samples. Almost 7,000 people were represented in this meta-analysis, coming from four different countries across the world. So let's start with the first hypothesis. This figure is going to contain hazard ratios from the 12 studies. The base hazard of 1 is important to remember because values whose confidence intervals overlap with 1 are not significant. The 12 studies are represented by the rows of the figure. As you can see, Stable did not significantly predict sexual recidivism in all studies. And that's okay. Variability is just common in life. I mean, not everyone performs the same. However, the multicolored diamond at the bottom of the screen shows a significant overall effect. The evidence supports the predictive validity of stable with sexual recidivism. Next, we will consider the predictive validity of stable with other types of recidivism, as well as the incremental effect of stable over static 99R. Stable significantly predicted all four types of recidivism on its own. Point five. Stable also provided unique and predictive information beyond static 99R. Point six. The direct effects are, understandably, a bit stronger than the indirect effects. So let's move on to examining stable items. The validity of the items is important because they can be easily used to describe treatment and management targets. All items significantly predicted sexual recidivism on their own. Although there is some variability in predictive strength between items, all items seem to work about the same. We have now covered the three hypotheses set out at the beginning and alerted you to the seven points to remember from this brief summary. If you're interested in learning more, please see the full 25-minute video or the original article. Both are linked below. Please feel free to share this video for training or teaching purposes. I'm happy for you to use the video or slides themselves in your presentations. I just ask that you leave the slide intact and reference it accordingly. Also feel free to contact me if you have any questions or comments. If you liked this video, then I hope you check out my other videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel.